Empire American. Today's video is going to be about America. Um, a patriotic liberal. If that might be confusing to some of you, just check out Gene Simmons. He's a patriotic liberal. There's plenty of them out there. And uh, today's video is just going to be a straightforward um, approach to what I like about America, why I love America. And um, basically it's going to be about me talking about the good things and of course probably even some of the bad things. I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you and um, that whole blind patriotism thing. Um, it's important to know that within every single country throughout the world there's always good and bad things. We just seem to have more good things and people like always tend to focus on the negative things just like in any other country. Okay, the, um, our infrastructure this is something that the Democrats and Republicans agree on. So one of the important things is, is that yeah, we must look at those things and say, okay, you know what? This needs to be fixed. This this isn't good. This can could have should be better. We have a lot of money in this country. We should be fixing our our roads, our bridges, and our tunnels and subways. And all that other stuff, or highways, there's all kinds of problems and things that need to be addressed and worked on. That's one of the things there. Number two, um, America is the best country. America is one of the best countries. It's an awesome country. What makes the best country in the world? Depending on how much money you have. If you have a lot of money, the country you're living in, primarily any kind of, you know, democratically advanced, socially, economically advanced country is going to be a good country to live in. Okay, so that's one of the things. You don't hear about really rich people in other countries complaining about their own country, with the exception of some stupid politicians. Um, insults by our allies. Um, yeah, I, I read all the time on online, when I'm online, whether it's Australia, England, or Canada, somebody insulting America. You know, the whole thing with uh, glass houses and, you know, friendly fire. The last thing you kind of want to do is like insult them back. It's what you want to do in the ways. But yet at the same time, you don't want other people who are like from those countries who are pro-American to read your post and you say something about negative about England or Australia or whatever. So, quick shout out, uh, salute. And a thank you to Liam and Joel, Joel and Liam, my favorite name, Joel and Liam, and uh, the Scottish lass and lad in Scotland who have said good, positive things about America. It's always good to hear positive, good things about any country that, you know, for, when you're living in that country, people want to hear negative stuff, especially if you're visiting that country. And then, of course, then there's people who live here that say a bunch of negative stuff. Now, it's important to, to distinguish what it's constructive criticism and it's a completely just stupid blind hatred towards it. Here's the good news. This isn't North Korea. If you hate America or if you dislike America, you can always move. You can always move. Those people tend to never move though. Move. If you, if you hate America that much, if you're an American, if you live here, you know, what the fuck? Um, we allow millions of immigrants to come to this country. And the main thing is what we want is people could have like and respect America. Like, respect, and or love America and fulfill their American dream. Not everybody's going to become rich if that's the American dream, if that's what they're thinking. That's not going to specifically happen, but a lot of the people that come from other countries that come here, you know, are welcomed and are good. I'd rather have them here than the other white people hate America. I'll trade you. I'll trade you a thousand people from all the other different ethnicities, other countries, excluding Europe or including Europe, I guess, for all the white people here that hate America. I'd rather have them living in this country. Usain Bolt, for example, a good example is the Mexican guy, and I forgot his name, who pulled that American flag that they were trying to burn. The neighbors all my got the pause. But I'll be back continue on. I'll say this real quick. Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt who was being interviewed at the Olympics in 2012. Standing here. Was it 2012, 2016? I forgot. Was being interviewed. And 
in like a football field, big huge like field, and like way over in the background, you can hear the national anthem playing. And we seen Bowling report on my butt. He went like he's in quiet the national anthem. I'm like he could have just ignored it. I mean, it was way over there. He was being interviewed over here. That was just really cool and respectful. Any person like that deserves an automatic green card to come into this country, to stay in this country, to work in this country, or whatever. So, I'll be back for part two on Tuesday. Continue on. Oh, America is the country that gives the most aid. Most of, uh, even the rich people here, um, give the most aid to either other countries and, of course, our own. You know, um, it's, it's important to always uh, share that wealth and it was to be helpful so that people have a positive image. Just kind of same concept with people out there. They're, they give aid if they have a lot of money. Not for to get recognition from it or notoriety, notoriety but to just do good things. When Japan suffered the earthquake in March 11th, 2011. Um, we gave a lot of aid. We gave a, a lot of aid to Japan. Japan is one of our great allies. And of course, so is England and Australia and of course Canada. Um, there's a lot of them. So you'll be taking the most foreigners. So the whole concept is you now getting people that like and respect and love your country to move in. You know, that's the whole thing. Like I mentioned before about the several several people and one of those people I wrote it down Larry Payton Larry Payton was the uh, the guy who was grabbing that flag away and of course he was actually American but it's people like that other foreigners that have uh, the strong respect so Aussie TV um, likes to just go on the streets and ask questions and uh, geography questions and all that stuff about uh, and, and the flags and what country is about and where they are and stuff like that. Not everybody is actually good at that. I am, but then a lot of people aren't. And then, of course, one of the other things, and they're asking about Star Wars. Star Wars, fact or fiction. And then, of course, they want to judge, you know, a country of 350 plus million people based off of some middle-aged white lady who doesn't know about Star Wars. Insert the ball. Star Wars is an American-made movie. And... Most fans, or practically every single fan, knows that it's a fictional story. Newsflash. Not every single person knows about Star Wars. So yeah, it's stuff like that that's, you know, irritating. But you know, oh well, you could say bad things about it. I mean, any in every specific country, like I said before, um, every single country has good and bad stuff like that. You know, people are thinking of it towards negatively. And like, I, like when I mentioned before that it's not perfect, or it's not blind patriotism with me. It's because, you know, I love America that much. Where I'm like, well, this is screwed up. This is messed up. We need to fix these things. We need to fix those things as far as our infrastructure, our economy, and of course all that other stuff. The imports and export things. I'm not going to get too political on this. I'm going to, I'm going to save my, share my political thoughts, ideas, and beliefs in another video. This one's not going to be about that. So anyways, um, one of the other things is, uh, oh, capitalism. Some people say they don't like capitalism. Um, well, capitalism is practically in every single country, with the exception of some. They're always buying and selling stuff. Um, some countries have more than others. Some countries have less. Um, try going to Germany, France, or Japan with two or three hundred dollars in your pocket and see how see how long that lasts you you know you have to buy stuff there too it's not like you know you're just gonna start handing your stuff it's not like that thanks for watching my videos we watch watch more of my other older videos and I have a lot of ideas and content to come up like this video share it subscribe and